Come in here, ladies. Let me tell you why that Nigerian man who's in Nigeria and inviting you over to Nigeria to commit him, to get married to him, is fake. Number one, a Nigerian man doesn't invite a woman to come marry him. A Nigerian man goes to marry a woman. You believe me or not? You don't? Welcome ladies and welcome back to my channel. This is Mary and your girl. So on this channel, I talk mostly about Nigerian men, Nigerian food, Nigerian culture, Nigerian tradition, and I put everything in between about family, life, adventure, everything, okay? If this is something that you're interested in and would like to know more about, do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Talking about Nigerian men inviting women, foreign women, to come over to Nigeria to marry them. Now, this is a very serious issue. My ladies, sit down. We need to talk about women going over to Nigeria to get married to a Nigerian man. You are not a Nigerian person. Most of us who are Nigerians find it appalling that a woman will go marry a man. It is not done. You don't go to a man to marry a man. How long are we going to talk about this? How long are we supposed to talk about issues like this? We have said this times and times again. A Nigerian marries a woman. A woman doesn't marry a Nigerian man. I've seen this many times. People will ask me. People will chat me. People will talk about it. I will try to tell them everything. Still, at the end of the day, to see myself, I'm being a bit, you know, like, you know, enemy of progress kind of situation. I am not there. What do I have to gain by telling you the truth? It is a cultural thing. It is a Nigerian thing. A Nigerian man is meant to come marry you. In a situation where this is not possible because you guys are separated by state or by country, let him come over. If he doesn't have the funds, then he's not even ready to get married. If he has the funds but doesn't have the means, because sometimes people have the money but do not know how to travel to other countries. So if he has the funds, doesn't have the means, bring him over. There is nothing like you being there. You going to Nigeria, take it as a visit. Go and visit this guy. Try to know this guy. Try to know how, where he's from, how he is, what he's doing. Honestly, this pisses me off. When I hear that women go over to Nigeria to be with a man and to marry him, my question to you is, are you marrying this guy or this guy is marrying you? Do you expect a real relationship in a Nigerian man's mind that I know? If you go to marry him, you're wasting your time. They want to be the one to conquer. They want to be the one to marry you. They want to be the ones to rule you. It goes, same thing goes for like, a woman asking a Nigerian man out. It doesn't all go well. It may just go that you guys can have fun. He will take it as having fun. He will use you catch crews because he will believe that it's all about catching crews. Okay? I don't want to sound so harsh because like I'm not a harsh person. I want you, like seeing my face on the camera, I feel like I'm being too serious. Baby girl, relax. Mm. Mm. Okay, my sweet ladies. Now, let me tell you. You know that I love you. You know that I got you. You know that I have you in mind. I got good intentions for you. But the thing you need to know is that as a woman, it is not allowed. You cannot go marry him. You do not know this. A lot of foreign women are not coming out to tell you the true story. But they have told me. They have called me. A lot of them are heartbroken. Most of them told the same path. Going to marry this guy. This guy would just waste their time, waste their years, only for them to realize that a sad guy has gone to marry someone else. 
I'm not joking. I have someone right here, one of my subscribers, who is still very angry and at every opportunity she doesn't waste time to speak her mind to tell you of how not to trust Nigerian men they are these, they are that she went through it, they broke her heart they did this to her, they did that to her it is true it is true most probably I've never had the chance to ask her did you go to marry him? Did you do it that way? Because if you did, it's the same thing. I've had other ones who will go to Nigeria and come back with same stories. But the same thing, the circle, it keeps happening. But it shouldn't be so. And then you will say, oh, the Nigerian men, they are so bad, they are this, they are that. Come on, let's use our sense. Come on, my ladies. You know I love you. You know I got you. And I do not want you to feel like I'm angry. No, I'm not. But I'm trying to hold my emotions because I know our people and I know how they behave. If you go and you give yourself on a platter, it's like you're gifting him yourself. But if he comes and marries you, he's like he's he's like taking ownership of having you to love and to hold, to care for. One thing you should know about Nigerian men is that they really value it. They are the ones who take the first step, especially even in dating. Then when it comes to marriage, there is no who takes the first step when it comes to Nigerian society. The man takes the first step, like the man will marry you. This is how it's supposed to be and it has always been. Now, there are lots of things going on here and there, like, whom should I tell? I cannot. Because these things are private matters from women, and they do not want me to share. I've heard, oh Lord, I have heard sad stories. I've heard of people who lived with a Nigerian man who didn't know that guy was married to someone else. She went over to marry him. They have stayed years. And the Nigerian man, she married him and he went to marry the person he wanted. It's that simple. This is the situation I'm talking about. He will go and marry the person he wants because he wants. This is really important that we take these things into consideration. Okay, my ladies, I don't want to rant so much. I just want to tell you that, honestly speaking, my ladies, I love you all. And you know I got your back. But men are doing and undoing. Like I told you, I don't know if you ever watched one live. I came that day, particularly because, I'm her, uh, because I heard of something. Someone gave me like a, a tea of a guy who invited his woman over to this place in Dubai. To get married to her so the woman flew in here to marry him and he was playing and telling to another guy guy get ready you know you're gonna be my best man my girl is coming in i want getting married now this is this is a relationship or a marriage that no one knows absolutely anything about and i have told you guys times without number that there is no marriage without family now this guy so convenient yeah he goes to get married to you in a courthouse with nobody with just a friend or two and for those who even invite a mother and a father and claim that yeah you know but let me tell you what is a marriage with one person or two people standing in the nigerian society it's not a marriage a marriage your community should know that you got married. The community will be seated there to know that you got married. This is how it is. It is what it is, babies. That's how it is. So it's either he's marrying you or he's not marrying you. You going to marry him? Unlikely. That's hardly, hardly. So my ladies, I don't want to bore you so much, you know already how we do. It's me and your girl giving you the real talk about Nigerian men, Nigerian culture, Nigerian traditions, everything concerning the original Niger people. And you know now, from time to time, 
I will be giving you some Ninja dishes so that you know how to prepare your food for your Ninja man. Because let me tell you something. Hmm? A Ninja man loves through his tummy. Eh? A Nigerian man loves through his tummy. But that will be a topic for another day, right? Okay, so without further ado, do have a lovely day. Do have a blessed day. Stay happy, stay blessed, and bye-bye.